Hello there, this is Cindy at cindybdesigns.com. Thank you for joining me today. We're going to be making this really great, clean and simple card. This sketch is my go-to pretty much these days when I have no mojo. It's very, very easy to do, easy to cut down. I'll have all the measurements and everything that you need on my blog at cindybdesigns.com along with a complete supply list. So we're gonna get started. There's a picture of our card in our envelope. And we are going to be using sunshine, sunshine sayings and flourishing phrases along with a couple coordinating die cuts from those two stamp sets. And there's our designer series paper, which is, you know, a favorite of everybody's. So we're going to pull in our misty. We're going to doll up our envelope using that flourishing phrases stamp. That's gonna be stamped out with some Encore Gold. I don't know if we still carry that or not, but we did a while ago. And I'm just laying it on there to the left-hand side. You can either heat dry that or let it dry on its own. I would suggest to let it dry on its own. We're gonna be doing the inside of our panel now. And I'm going to line up that rubber stamp on my misty when I turn it over and look like that I'm just making sure that the wording lines up with a line in there for a point of reference that is my embossing buddy because we are going to do some embossing on the inside of that panel with some gold powder since I'm using gold as my accents I'm gonna go back to the DSP that was naturally eclectic and this is where I'm dumping on or applying the gold embossing powder. I'm gonna take that off screen after I get it on there and then get that heat embossed. And that's just my cheat way of doing that. And it's gonna turn out really cool with that nice raised edge. That's, I just found that piece of paper on my desk and it worked okay on the inside, so I went with it. This bone folder, you normally see me use a Teflon one and a lot of people will complain about the shine that a non teflon bone folder uses flip your card stuck over and score it that way and that way that shine is towards the back rather than the front and that's how you get around that so i'm applying the inside panel to our card lining it up top to bottom left to right give that a nice good press down since it, since it was heat embossed you're always going to have a little bit of a warping i'm going to be pulling back in our dsp and it Playing fast fused to the back of that. You'll see me start it a couple times. And I'm going to be pulling in some of our gold foil paper. I cut it down to eight, a little bit over eight inch strips. So I can apply it to the back. You don't want to use liquid adhesive with this because you don't want it spilling over onto your gold foil paper. It's a hot mess. It's going to be difficult to get off. Ask me how I know. I think that we've all been there. So I'm just now trimming up my ends and I'm pulling in, our card base is Fresh Fig. Top folding, which I hardly, I mean, I never do. And this is like the second time ever I've done it now. So I'm putting that down on the top and it, you know, centering it from left to right, making sure everything gets down all nice and pretty. I don't have a lot of hang over on the top. Pulling in my big shot right now because we're going to stack up those die cuts, but I'm not going to layer on. The top is going to be with the gold foil paper. Underneath it, I'm not going to do gold foil paper. There's no reason for it. And I chose that color to layer up the dies because it's the same color as our fresh fig card base, and it made sense aesthetically. Vellum paper. Big difference between cardstock and paper. I'm running that through using my. Precision base plate has that little magnet on the back. Those can be a little bit difficult to get out. I really suggest using your brush with that mat that we have to get all of that. I am giving my work, my glue pin a little bit of a workout. I'm just going to put dots down. I don't want to use that fine tip glue because I want my glue to dry matte. So once again, I'm just putting everything down stacking it on top of each other and I want to get those set up to dry so I pulled in a clean clear block 
if you blocks are dirty you stick on top of foil paper or anything like that it's going to transfer and it's not pretty so now that our envelope is dry I'm going to grab a coordinating piece of that naturally eclectic DSP and I'm putting, laying down some fast fuse on the back flap of the envelope all the way around because I don't want it coming up it's going to melt I'm lining that up now, giving it a nice press. I chose that DSP because it, it bounces off the fresh fig very nice. Cut off the flap. I've gone ahead and adhered butter fingers. The gold DSP to the top, or the foil paper to the top of the dies. Put them back underneath the block and let them set up to dry now. Moving on, I've brought our card back in. And I went ahead and cut out several different pieces of the vellum and I'm just stacking them on top of that right now to get some kind of substance. You're gonna watch everything fall off, but I haven't adhered it down yet. Or that's actually coming up. This is where everything's gonna fall off. And I'm going to put glue on the back of that and then grab a clear block, put it back down, let it set up. There we go. I finally made a mistake. I've been talking about twice now. So again, so easy to make and very cool. Those clear glitter shapes, they are buggers. They are really cool and they give a lot to the car, but they are buggers. They did help me keep down my vellum a lot. The glue did, but there was just a couple places on there that really need to go down a lot more so it wouldn't rip from my card front. So there goes that, you know, strategic random thing again. And like I said, those are just, they're buggers, but they work. Tons of things you can do. Gold thread nest, gold sequins, lots of things that you can do to dress up this card even more ribbon on top and there we go that is how easy this card was to make I love it I just think it's a really cool card and very simple to mass produce in change of the colors it's like a series paper everything so thank you so much for joining me today God bless I hope you have a great day please hit like and subscribe and I'll see you the next time around bye